everyone welcome or welcome back to the channel it's ken cash budgets here with a cash stuffing video you guys today i will be cash stuffing my bonus pay that i received from work so it's an extra little video for you guys i am recording this on sunday but this will be up probably on monday so um i wanted to show you guys a little bit of my breakdown for today i got paid a thousand two hundred and eight for my bonus now I'm not going to be cash stuffing that much because my dad did ask me to buy him a TV. Well, he was going to give me the monthly payments because I have a credit card for the specific furniture store where they were having a sale for this 85-inch smart TV from Samsung. And we thought it was a really good deal. It was, it was on a President's Day sale, so it was about $999. And he was like, yeah, like, can you just get it for me on your credit card and I'll give you the monthly payments. My dad doesn't have credit card. Um, yeah, my dad doesn't work, so his credit has kind of just been diminished over time. So, yeah. So he asked me if I can, you know, purchase it. I did, and it was actually cheaper. They asked for, like, a down payment of 150 I told him I don't have that money in my bank account because I don't have that big of a buffer, which is a goal that I have is to, like, build my buffer. But anyway, um... He gave me the 150 so now all we owe is um, 8 47 something like that. But he wanted to give me monthly payments for it, but I kind of just want to pay it off and I don't want to charge him. I kind of just want to do it for him. So I felt like it was there was no better time since I got my bonus pay. And yeah, so I'm just going to pay it off. I'm not going to charge him for it. So 850 is staying in my bank account so that I can pay that in full once that the statement comes. You know what I mean? So I'm left with 358 because I'm leaving 850 for the um, payment. So yeah, the total actually didn't end up being 999. It ended up being 996 minus that 150, 846. So that's what we owe, but I'm leaving 850 in the bank. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm left with 358 to stuff. So that is what we're working with. I decided to go do some important categories, but also really do my low priority sinking funds, holidays, and savings challenges because I never get to do my savings challenges besides the 100 envelope challenge. And that's only when I have rollover money from my wallet, which is not that often. So this was kind of like the basic um, breakdown that I did. I usually do like a whole category breakdown with the bills denominations and stuff but this was fairly simple since it's not too much money and i knew that i wanted to go into a few categories so let's just get get started i'm stuffing 358 you guys i also did my taxes and i'm gonna owe money so i was rethinking this whole like um you know i could use my bonus pay but i already did my budget for the bonus pay so i didn't really want to use this money for that i have like a hundred and something in my tax envelope so i'll use that and i'm gonna either just pull from other categories or just like our tax preparer she said we can pay it we have until like april 15th to pay her so i think what i'm going to do is just stuff that category until I reach the amount that I have to pay which I think will be probably like 400 something and I currently have 117 I want to say in that envelope so I'll work with it um I think that is the better option is to kind of just add some of that tax sinking fund until um I get to where I need it to be right okay so let's go ahead and start I did decide to add to a expense category which is my yearly subscriptions because that is coming up in May. Like that's when it starts. So I wanted to beef this up. I usually just add like five bucks each week. So I'm going to add 25 today. So now yearly subscriptions has 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, and 100. So $100 in yearly subscriptions. Really good. I think my yearly subscriptions totaled up is 241. So that's great. Now I'm going to get into my um, high priority sinking funds. I did want to stuff my savings. And today I will be doing my 10K challenge that I made. This is I made this on Canva. Today I will be stuffing $50. If you watch my videos, you know that I haven't been stuffing that much. I've kind of been going based off of Luna Saves Cash because it is like lower denominations, lower numbers that I feel that I can actually 
do within my weekly budget. But since this is an extra pay, I did decide to add a little bit more. So $50 going in. And now in savings, I have 500, 600, 700? No, <laughs> 650, 670, 680, 85, 90, 95, 700. Yay, we've reached 700 in savings, which is good. I don't wanna pull from this for the taxes. So I really am leaning towards just adding more money into my taxes envelope so that I have that money by the time I need it. All right, cool. So savings now has 700 and I'm just gonna highlight this real quick. 50. I know I'm doing like a crappy job. Ew, oh well. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Let me know down in the comments what you did, if anything exciting happened. Um, but yeah, okay, so vacation is going to get 20. And now vacation has 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55 dollars. And I am cash stuffing emergency fund today. And it's going to get 35. All right. And now emergency fund has 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 55, 65, 75. So 475. And now I can fill in two of the little boxes. So 475. Yay. All right. So let's go ahead and mark the this one. And the bottom one. All right, cool. Oops. And that is all I am stuffing in my high priority binder. Now I'm gonna head into my low priority binder, which is this one. I'm sorry if it's a little dark. It is 5 p.m. So the sun is about to set gifts is going to get 30 I do have a cousin whose birthday is next week so I need to get her something and then my sister's is the following week so gifts now has 20 30 40 50 65 75 76 77 78 79 and 80 so 80 dollars this should be more than enough for one gift Okay, and then Amazon is going to get 13. It got kind of like a weird odd number because I'm kind of trying to, um, this will even it out. Okay, so now it has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. There we go. So $20 in Amazon. Shop is going to get 15. Cool. So now shop has 10, 15, and 20 dollars. Nails is not getting anything. Beauty is going to get 15 as well. So now it also has 10, 15, and 20 dollars. Okay, next is tats, tattoos. And that is going to get 25. And that should complete one of these little icons. So 25, right? Yeah. Cool. So now tattoos has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110, 15, and 20. 
so 120 yay i do know what i want next and it's gonna be a little on the pricier end so that's good let me get my red pen okay there we go Sorry if this bores you. Okay. And then in with the black pen. And this I found online for any of you that are curious. I just looked up on Google tattoo budget trackers. And then I found one. And I printed it out. It's not laminated though. Alright, cool. Cool. So we have 120 in tattoos. Not bad at all. Okay, next, electronics, and that is getting $5. Okay. And now electronics has $10, $15, and $20. Events and concerts are getting five dollars, is getting five dollars. So now concerts has five, ten, fifteen. Okay, and giveaway is gonna get five dollars as well. So now giveaway has ten. And that is it for my low priority binder. Yay, filled all the categories. Now I'm gonna get into my holiday binder. Whoops. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys. All right, holiday binder. Christmas is gonna get 50. I'm actually gonna be doing this tracker from Bellamy Planning and it is linked down below and I'm gonna be doing the first 50. So, let's see, I'll just use this purple one. Okay, and I'm just going to do a little check. Okay, that was like, came out a little wonky and crazy. <laughs> okay, whatever. Alright, and $50 is going to go in to my Christmas fund. Which is exciting. So now Christmas has 50, 70, 80, and 90 dollars. Not bad. Okay. And then St. Patrick's Day, since that is the next holiday. However, I don't think I'm going to do anything, but who knows, right? So I will be adding four dollars today. If I don't end up using this, I think I'm going to just put it, the money towards either gifts or Mother's Day because I have a lot of mothers in my life and I want to be able to give them gifts when that time comes. All right, so now St. Patrick's Day has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 dollars. Okay, and then I'll fill in a little circle. I know I don't always fill in these little trackers on camera and sometimes I will just do them for my short videos but I don't know do you guys like this do you enjoy it or you can live without it <laughs> let me know okay and that's it for my holiday binder now we're gonna get into the savings challenges I did scratch off the, the ones that I wanted to do and this again is my Libra binder this is going to be used for my savings challenges I did an unboxing video for this if you want to check that out it is from Soul Mama Ritual and Crafts and so are the envelopes that are in here which I'll get to in a second okay so oh I didn't even take out my 100 envelope challenge I'll do that after I did have I did have these from Miss Daisy Budgets I've had them for a while I just never got to do them because my budget um 
you know, I can't always stuff my savings challenges besides the 100 envelope challenge. So today I, well, I scratched them before, so before I made the budget, so I know how much was going here. So in her two, in the 200 scratch and save savings challenge, I am adding $15 this time. So a 10 and a 5. So 15 going in. Oh my god, sorry. I've never had these type of envelopes before, but they're kind of cool and interesting. I know some of you had mentioned you're interested in these, and you've been looking for some of these, so yes. Okay, and then the 300 scratch and save, $20 is going in. That's what I scratched off. So $20 going in to start it off. And I didn't do the 500 challenge because I knew they were going to have, that it was going to have like higher denominations or higher numbers. So I didn't want to like risk it. And then the Pink X budgets, this one is also, this is her diamond challenge I think. So it's like higher denominations and I knew I wasn't going to have money for that. So I didn't do it. All right, today for our 100 envelope, for my 100 envelope challenge, I'm doing number 26. There we go. And I will add that in. All right. So there's that. I really need to start doing like the higher denominations. But I'm just doing what I can, you know? Oh, I didn't even look for it. Okay. On the 26, and I gotta speed this up because it's getting really dark. So 26, and that is the last bit of this money here on the tray. So 20, 25, and 26 dollars going in. All right. Ew, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. It's okay. Okay. It's not okay. I don't know how that happened. Okay. There we go. 26 is in now. And that is all I have for you guys today in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's definitely always nice to get an extra income, but... I don't know, after I did my taxes, I'm like, do I really want this extra income that I have to report and pay for at the end of the day? <laughs> no, at least I saved something in my tax um, envelope. So now I just need to save more before April, and which I think is very doable. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and being here and supporting my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you all, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.